My name is Megan Gavins, I'm 13 years old and I'm what my friends fondly refer to as a raging feminist. I take it as a compliment. Some people try and tease me about it, but that just pushes me to work harder. You see, I want to do big things in this world and being a woman is never going to stop me. Feminism can be defined as the public support of women's rights and equality. Equality means being viewed and treated the same. Feminism is wanting no discrimination against women. It's wanting not to be seen weak as weaker if I choose to paint my nails or put my hair up. Without equality, the boys are viewed as more important than the girls, which isn't true. Roughly 50% of the world are women, the other 50% men, completely equal. And yet, it's the girls who are pulled out of school in the less well-off countries so the boys and their families can afford to go. And then there are pay gaps when one person is paid more than the other. I want equality. It shouldn't be something I feel I have to fight for. I'm entitled to it. And yet, I don't feel I have it quite yet. I want not to be judged if a job I choose to do when I'm older isn't very girly. Like, being a butcher or a builder or a brain surgeon. I want the options and I don't want to be teased if it's not very feminine. I want equality but I don't just want it for me, I want it for all women. I want equality for younger people. I have a younger sister, about two and a half years younger, and she's amazing. She drives me absolutely cuckoo bananas most days, but she also manages to make me laugh and smile in ways that light up my day. She's the person who I most want equality for. I don't want her to be judged in the way most women are, for being too fat or too skinny or wearing makeup or not, all sorts of pointless things like that. I want her to have strong, independent women she can look up to and know that are there who've done amazing things. I'm a naturally curious person, or you can just call me nosy, and I was always looking for women who have done amazing and extraordinary things to look up to, and it could take me quite a while to find them. For example, take Wi-Fi. It's a device or a thing many of us can't live without, including my little sister. And it was invented by a woman. Her name was Hedy Lamarr, and she isn't very well known. She was Austrian, and she had a rich husband and a big house, and lived in a dream world, practically. But she didn't like it. She was a trophy wife, to sit still and look pretty. And she hated it, so when it didn't change, she ran away, and she moved to Hollywood and became an actress. And between taking films, she would invent things, and her work laid the foundations for Wi-Fi. And yet, her name isn't really that well known. That's one of many examples. I want the women of the past to be taught to the women of the future, so they know there are strong, independent women who've done amazing things, people they can look up to. You see, my little sister, she means the world to me, and I want her to know there is someone who has done an amazing thing who's just like her. And one day, when I'm older, when I'm an astronaut or an inventor, or maybe a TV presenter, I want my story to be told. I want the women of the past to be known to the women of the future. My name is Megan Gavins, I'm 13 years old, and I'm what I fondly refer to as a raging feminist.